As a natural bodybuilder for over 10 years, I've always wondered how can I increase my genetic ceiling. I never wanted to take anabolic steroids, so finally I was very, very excited when I heard about follistatin gene therapy. This has a potential and I will tell you that it has in fact increased my genetic ceiling already. I only did it two weeks ago and I already feel stronger, have better recovery, I've already set some personal bests, and this is me in a calorie deficit. So I can only imagine what I can do when I'm in a calorie surplus. So how does the follistatin gene therapy actually work? So it's actually designed by a company called MiniCircle. It's backed by Peter Thiel, who's one of the best investors of all time. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be a very, very large company in a few years. Importantly, what they did, instead of using a viral vector, they decided to use a bacterial vector to administer different proteins. When we're talking about gene therapy, it just means there's a foreign organism going into your body, either a virus or a bacteria, and it's going to be modifying your genes or increasing certain pathways or decreasing other pathways. The issue up until now is that most people were just using viral vectors and these are much, much more expensive. And there's actually been case reports of bad things happening too. Whereas with bacterial vectors, we know they're very, very safe. What MiniCircle did, they found the perfect bacterial vector E. coli and figured out how to use it as a method to administer different proteins. So the protein that's being administered with follistatin is of course follistatin and it's slowly released every day. And when it's released, what follistatin does, it sends a signal to your body saying, hey, you don't need as much myostatin. So the myostatin decreases, which allows you to put on more muscle and helps to decrease the breakdown of skeletal muscle. So that anti-catabolic effect is so important because as you age, especially after age 35, you actually start to lose about half a percent to 1% of muscle mass every year. So even if you're not weight training, this can help to maintain muscle mass, which is so important as for our elderly population as well. And the other cool thing is it activates FOXO3 pathway. FOXO3 pathway is one of the most well-studied anti-aging or longevity pathways. That's because it has a systemic anti-inflammatory effect. And that can help with energy, it can help with mood, it can help with concentration, it can just help with your overall body, making you feel younger. And in humans, they showed that after three months of starting the therapy, humans' lifespan was increased by three years based off methylation biomarkers. So we already have data showing that the Falstein gene therapy can increase lifespan in humans and in mice. They are doing many clinical trials with it right now for different conditions such as ALS, such as muscular dystrophy, but they're also going to be using it obviously for longevity and for anti-aging. I know many of my pro athletes who already want it. I know there's going to be a huge demand for it. We're going to be offering it in Dubai hopefully later this year. I'll continue to document my progress over the next few months. I've only been on it for a few weeks, but I'm training really well and I'm excited to see how my physique evolves. One last thing, people always ask about safety with any new innovative therapy. This is very, very safe. Fallstatin has been studied for over two decades and we know it has a high safety profile, so there's nothing to worry about in regards to that. With the gene therapy vector, there's over five years of safety data in humans, but in mice, we know again that there's been over two decades of research using mini circle technology and there's no ill effects of the genome being modified in any way. So this bacterial vector doesn't actually go into your genome. All it does is it helps to increase the levels of follistatin. And let's just say for whatever reason, you have some weird side effect or you want it out of your body. It actually has a kill switch. Because it's just an E. coli bacteria, you can just take an antibody called a tetracycline and it'll be out of your body. So this is why it's such a cool technology because it's actually a reversible gene therapy. So it's not permanent. It lasts for one and a half to two years and then you do it again as needed. So I'm super excited. So keep following me and you'll see my progress with the fall therapy over the next two years.